welcome back to the channel so today's video i'm gonna hit up gamestop i got uh some new naruto pops that came in i think just one of them though about to look around there if you're new to the channel so what i do is just uh unbox figures do funko pop hunting talk about favorite movies tv shows sports wwe doesn't matter so if you like that contact you know you're about to find out so We'll be right back. So guys, we're entering GameStop. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm about to see what they got in there. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, so basically the same things from last time I came in. Uh, China, I know she's from the new Fallen Order line. There's the theme. Uh, same things from last time. Uh, gonna go a little bit slower this time to get the new She-Hawk in which I might actually be picking this bad boy up today um, uh, here's a new, like, new Spider-Man in reverse showed that off before uh, here's some X-Men sorry about that I'm around slow new Scorpion where the combats Sub Zeros, same two other figures <laughs> as always. Uh, here's some Funko Pops. They got the hologram Rick. Where's Waldo? Space Hunt. Harley Quinn. New Girls Boards. Where's two? Going real slow for you guys. I might be picking this up though up. I know I said that the last two videos. <laughs> New it Pennywise, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Naomi. Hot Torch. Race 2. Like I said, just gonna look around and see what else they got. Coca-Cola, Polar Bear, Rick Portal Gun. So, you know, just look around, see what else I can find. So guys, I came back home. So, uh, unfortunately, it was more of a quicker hunt. Uh, you know, I stood around, uh, talked a little bit with some with one of the cashiers there. Um, pretty cool guy. You know, he looks out for me. Um, and when I look out for him, which I mean by like, um, so you know how every time you per make some, a purchase at GameStop, they give you the, the survey thing. So I always fill these things out, um, and it helps them out and, you know, they help us out because, you know, they, sometimes they could, you know, give you, not uh, help you with discounts or tell you you know, which new figures are coming in. So, you know, you be good with them. They be good with you. So that's what I do. I always fill these things out and just, even if they didn't um, help me out, I would always just fill them out. Just, that's how I always been. So the, the one of the guys was kind enough to give me one of this Crash Bandicoot. Um, it's a bobblehead uh, for the dashboard, you know, for your car or whatever. Uh, it's made by, actually it's made by NECA. Um, NECA, so that's actually pretty cool. So, just gonna open this bad boy up. Uh, I don't really care about the box, so I'm just gonna just destroy this whole thing. But it's actually pretty cool because I actually like Crash, and you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool actually. You know, Crash Bandicoot. He shakes a little bit. Um, it's kind of like they grabbed a green paper bag and just taped it around it or whatever, sold it in. Um, but it's actually pretty cool. You know, you put it on your dashboard or whatever. And I, I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, like, so like I said, he actually gave me that because, you know, I showed him proof that, hey, I do fill these things out. And... Um, I also picked up um, the DC Multiverse Harley Quinn. So if you guys watched my previous videos, I uh, 
she put, I looked at her, but I never, I didn't pick her up. But then since I picked up that Batman, you know, I had to pick up a Harley. So the next is on the objective is to pick up uh, the Choker, um, the Batman Who Laughs. Uh, I was thinking about picking up uh, the new Harley Quinn, uh, the Birds of Prey. I'm still thinking about it. I got to watch the movie. I heard there's rumors that the movie is pretty good, actually. But um, here's the back of it. it. looks pretty cool, actually. I uh, love the card art. They, uh, this one has a card inside of it, too. So when I take it apart and put the pieces together, I'll show off the card or whatever. But here's the thing that I really went in there for. Because, you know, it's like they called me early. And they said, hey, your papa's in. So come pick it up. And I was like, yes. So here he is right here. The reanimation Madaria. Madara. So not it though. Uh, I love this pop. This pop is pretty sick. Inside of it, here's the sides. Um, oh, so it has the uh, OG back of it. So it's the Naruto Rasagon. I do have that. I have the Kakashi. I don't have Sakata. Um, I do have the Sobi. And I don't have the Sage Mode or the Six Path, which I'm still looking for those. But once again, here's the back. Here's the... There's the box. <laughs> um, oh, man. Kind of dinged it up right there. But that's totally my fault. <laughs> um, I'll just take them out of the box just to show them off a little bit better. Um, and like the other two pops that they that they did have from them were already on pre-order. So luckily, I went in there and did the pre-order when I had the chance because I just knew these pops are just gonna be huge. So here he is right here. He has the oops, um, the little guitar. Uh, on the guitar, there's not really nothing much to it. Let me see if I can get a close shot. So, but. Like I said, man, Madario is a pretty cool character on Naruto. I really love this this pop. It's so sick. Um, I still have it pre-ordered, all of them. The only ones I did pre-order... No, the only ones I didn't pre-order was Lady Sonate. Lady Sonate. And um, I believe it was running... Naruto, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it was running Naruto because I just thought those were true comments. But if, you know, I mean, this is a, a GameStop exclusive. So this one, you know, for sure wasn't going to sell out. But, you know, I, I I actually don't know because, you know, Naruto is a huge, huge anime. So let's see how that plays out. So... But with that being said, I'm going to take apart this Harley Quinn. So I get right to it. So I finally put the, the figure together. So I wish uh, she had like better hands to grip the, these accessories with. Because man, um, the hands, you really, really got to mess with it for her to see. Like the for her to grip the, the, the hammer. Or the palm or whatever you want to call it. It kind of sucks. But, you know, if you really want to mess around with the figure, she does tilt her arms. The arms are kind of weird on here. Like, like look at that. That's super weird. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. She can grip the pistol. So there's the pistol. It's, it has a little bang or whatever. She can does double knee. She You could, you know, pose this figure so that... You know, maybe uh, mess around with her. Uh, like I said, I wish she was like more, like like she had better hands, you know, <laughs> or she came like with an extra set of hands. Something I noticed about all the McFarlane figures that came out in this wave, it might be all of them, but like the the feet actually just points out. So for some reason, like especially when I'm taking photos of them. Um, like if if without their stand they're like 
you can kind of tell, like, it's kind of hard to stand up with some of these figures. Overall, I mean, I, I like the wave. Um, I just not really liking the, the, I mean, the figures are pretty cool, but just the way, like, like the accessories and how they're posable, it's not really that, that amazing. I do love the, the classic Harley face that she has, you know, the blur, the bur uh, burglary type of face, you know, she has the, the classic diamonds going all around her, her outfit, the re classic red and black. Like I said, the arms is really bothering me for some reason. Here's the hammer or pommel, whatever you want to call it. I do love that it has the little face on the side of it. Um, for some reason, like I said, you really got to mess with the hands for her to grip it. To grip it. But uh, overall, if you can really get it, um, you know, here she is like holding both of them or whatever. So it's pretty actually pretty cool. Um, so like I said, you can mess with her, have her posing, doing the splits. Uh, probably can't do the splits all the way, but just mess around and pose with her. Here's the inside, just normal inside, but like I said, she does come with the card, so we're just going to get a quick glimpse at the card or whatever in the inside of it. Um, I do love, and then there's the stand or whatever, but that's nothing much to these figures. Uh, I'm still trying to track down because, the, like I said, I still want the Batman who lasts, and apparently he comes out February 3rd. So that's like the release date for him. So we're going to see if we could track that one down. Um, I don't know when the Naruto pops are coming out. The rest of the whole wave. I do have them on pre-order. So I should be getting a call pretty soon when those come in. Um, I'm probably not going to pick them up day one. But um, I, I, I can't wait for those. There's the Superman that comes in that wave. He's like metal Superman. I mean, armor Superman, which people still confuse about why Superman needs armor. But I, I like it because it, it, it's a dope figure. So <laughs> I'm going to pick that up. I'm still waiting for the original Superman, the other super, uh, regular Batman. And then um, there's the Green Lantern where I might pick up the Green Lantern as well. Um, who else is in that wave? Um, I believe that's it for that wave. I'm not really sure. I have to double check on that. Um, but it's a, it's a good wave, you know, uh, at least something to do with right now. until the bigger releases start to come in. So then when we finally get those in, definitely going to show them off. As of right now, that is about it for this video. So, also, I forgot to mention before I started the video. Um, so, after every video, what I'm going to do, instead of just having just end, I've been posing a lot of my figures. I've been messing around. I put, like, two or three sh pictures of on, um, on Instagram. So, what I'm going to do, so, after the end of every video, I'm going to post some pictures um have have it i think they're pretty cool you know uh not the best professional pictures that i did but like like for instance uh if you haven't been following me on instagram which you should check it, the description below for my instagram and uh but i but i like uh for instance i had deku versus bakugo um facing off in front of each other like the the two uh Ban presto figures that i have so like after every video i'm just gonna get just pictures, take pictures of them and just post them at the end of every video. You know, I thought that was pretty cool, you know, instead of just having them just sit around and just collect dust, I might as well put, put them to use, you know, actually. Uh, and then with like some of my loose figures, you know, um, have them like face off too. So it's not just action, fish, uh, action figures, it's also uh, Funko Pop. So I thought that would that'd be pretty cool. Um, but like I said, stay tuned for the end of the video so you can see. Uh, I don't know if I can post one, probably like two at the end of every video. So um, so with that being said, that's the end of this video. Um, we're on our way to 100 subscribers. I know it's taking forever, but that's fine. So uh, at least, you know, like I said, this is a long process. So we're 
taking our time getting there. Um, please share this as much as you can. It'll definitely help me out. And then I definitely appreciate it. Um, uh, I still want to get back to doing that fan appreciation um, a month thing. And, uh, you know, so it's like, if you guys don't know, it's like the giveaway for every month. Uh, I'm going to pick a subscriber who's like the most active all the time. Um, so, you know. If you're one of those people who are always commenting, liking the video, I, obviously I can't see the likes. But if you're commenting, that's a way of me seeing it. If you follow me on Instagram um, and letting me know if you're vocal, very vocal, you can get a chance to win a giveaway of your choice. Uh, well, not, not like a hot toy or anything, but uh, at least not right now. But, uh, but like, uh, I'm going to ask you, if you guys don't know, it's just more of a... Hey, here's the, uh, so every month pick somebody else. Let's just, for instance, John Doe. So John Doe, which is not a real person, but John Doe, um, like if he likes Batman, I'm going to go out there and find a Batman figure, probably a McFarlane, a uh, Funko Pop or something like that. Uh, get him a Batman, a thing of his choice and, um, or my choice, uh, but a thing, a, a fandom that he likes. And um, that's how it's gonna be. So, you know, if you got, if you want a chance to win that, um, I mean, you, yeah, if you want a chance to win that, just comment on my videos, be active, and you get a chance to win one of one of those crazy figures. So, um, like I said, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said in my previous video, everything's dead until February. So. That's when everything starts picking back up again. But you guys have a wonderful day. And see you guys later.